What's good, GoofTuber? This is your boy D, aka Motherfucker, back again with some more Dead Zone action. That's right, guys. Welcome back. Welcome back for some more Dead Zone dose. I hope everybody's doing good. So let's go ahead and jump right into the titles or topics. As you guys can tell already by the title, I'm gonna talk about the most frustrating thing ever in Zone Control. And no, for those who are thinking, uh, it's spawn killing. No, getting spawn killed is not frustrating thing or even having a bad hit reg is not as frustrating as the thing that I believe is the most frustrating thing in zone control and trust me it's certainly not getting killed by the mines. Getting killed by the mines is still bearable than the thing that I think is the most frustrating thing in zone control. Wow that was a mouthful. Jesus. So now you guys be like, what is the most frustrating thing then D? What, what do you think is the most frustrating thing, thing in zone control is? And answer of that question is... The most frustrating thing in zone control is... Having the shittiest team players ever in your team. Trust me. It's freaking painful. It's more painful than pulling out a goddamn tooth out of your mouth, man. I'm telling you, it suck to have freaking shittiest player ever in your team whom you cannot count on, whom you can't even use them as freaking meat shield, and hell, forget about winning the goddamn game with them in your team. You know, that's the most frustrating, the most annoying thing ever in zone control. You know, I mean, nothing makes me more furious, more mad, you know, when, when everything is going on. Uh, good on my end. I will have like a decent hit reg. Everything is going good steady frames But then again you get connected with the most shittiest players on this planet who play shadow in that zone And they have no idea what they're doing and they you know literally ruin everything for you uh, Reason why I said this is most frustrating when everything is working well for you because everybody know how freaking shadow in that zone works You know, I mean you got you, you don't have perfect hit reg all the time But when you have perfect hit reg or good hit reg you want to get all kills you want to get kills you want to go and you want to annihilate shit and you know that's something that you know you don't want it to lose that's an opportunity so to speak that's like catching a pikachu or freaking mewtwo in pokemon go you know what i'm saying like this nothing is perfect in this world right same goes for freaking shadow and death zone you don't get good hit reg all the time but when you do you don't want to lose that opportunity to you know not getting the kills but then again having a shitty team members just ruins everything for you you know and the gameplay that you guys are watching on the screen is the perfect example of that you know everything was going good you know my hit rate was on point uh, steady frames everything was doing was looking good you know we had a lead and I was kicking ass and uh, almost at the you know maybe like a two or three minute mark one of the player from the opposite team he snuck out and he took our first zone uh, you know due to which they had you know the due to which they took the lead so that was like you know still early moments of the game and I was like you know we had a lead and uh, I thought my team members will you know probably go back and you know try to take the zone and I'm, I was pretty sure that they will take the freaking zone but shortly after that you know once they you know were, once they were trying to go back and try to you know take the zone back uh, it was not working out for them and then I realized shortly after that that my team members are nothing nothing more than just some spuds who have no idea what they're doing and don't know how to freaking take the zone back uh, because I was kicking ass at C you know I was like you know what I'm gonna hold on to C you know I'm gonna try to you know you know keep them occupied at C once they come at C I will you know you know annihilate them over there and maybe my team members can go back and you know take freaking other zone but no I was wrong and uh, which you know lead us to losing all the zones and basically we lost the whole game it was painful i'm telling you it was freaking painful because like i said everything was good on my end but then again when i tried to you know you know work with my team they were just not working out with me with me you know and uh i was trying to you know going back and forth trying to capture the zones and you know going like to other zones sometimes trying to put mines on the other zone it was just not working out it was just like a complete abysmal shit and i was freaking furious at end of this game i was freaking mad after this game and i was like you know what fuck it i'm not gonna play it i just threw my freaking ipad on the side i was like fuck it i'm out of here and uh so yeah that's basically what happened in this game you know, nothing makes me more furious than this. Like I just said, it's freaking painful. Oof, oof. Sorry, I needed to went out. You know, I mean, I mean, how hard it is for you guys to help your team players to win the game. You know, I mean, 
Reminded me a famous quote by one of my favorite geezer out there. Shout out to Spam Javelin. I don't know if he even watches my gameplays, but uh, shout out to Spam. Um, it's called zone control, not zone maintenance. So quit camping and help your team, man. Help your team winning, basically. I mean, if you care that much about your freaking stats, just just leave the game almost at the end of the game. You know, just leave it almost at the end. Like I do this sometimes too. You know, I don't when I feel like that. I'm not. I've not done good. I just leave the game because fuck it. Why not? But at least I've tried to win the freaking game you know at least i've been in the entire game try to win the freaking game but just don't even you know just don't keep sitting there and just wait to get easy kills because you won't be getting easy kills i mean you still gotta work even though shadow god death zone is the most easiest game out there you still need to work your ass to get yourself some kills so yeah but oh well just wanted to went out guys just wanted to share this little thing with you guys um I'm pretty sure that you guys been in the same boat like myself. If you have been, do comment in the comment section below. Let me know uh, how you feel about it. And uh, if you like the gameplay, definitely drop a like, comment, subscribe, share, like again. And I will see you guys next time. Peace, motherfuckers. Telling you, it's painful to play with these mooks, man. Seriously, quit camping. Freaking campers. I mean, if there was a way... Mad figure can you know just you know in integrate a way where you know you can just kick out the players due to the in inactivity you know like if they're not playing or they're camping for more than one minute like automatically kick them out of the game. If Mad Finger is listening to this, come on man, come on Miguel, come on, do something about it man. It's painful to play with freaking campers man. Seriously it is. Jesus. Peace.